Hi, it's Barney from BBC Good Food and welcome to Boss The Basics. Now the basic technique we're going to be bossing today is bread. We're going to be doing a really basic bread. If you've never made bread before, this is the recipe for you. We're going to be turning the same dough into pizza, into a basic loaf and into different types of bread rolls. The ingredients we're going to need for our bread is some strong white bread flour, some salt, some fast action yeast and a little bit of sugar. It's important that you use strong bread flour because plain flour has a different gluten content. Now plain flour is fine for things like pizzas and flatbreads but for bread, uh, for big loaves of bread you really want strong bread flour. So for one loaf or for about eight rolls or for four pizzas we want 500 grams of flour, one sachet of yeast. Now sachet of yeast is exactly seven grams, so in that goes. I like my bread to have lots of flavor, so for my basic dough, I use 10 grams, roughly 10 grams of salt for 500 grams of flour. So that's about two teaspoons, two level teaspoons. If you like things a bit less salty, you can just do one but you do need a bit of salt in your bread. And then just to add a touch of sweetness, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of white pasta sugar. 300 milliliters of water will give you quite a, a stiff dough that's easier to work with, and 350 will give you quite a wet dough that's harder to work with, but has bigger air bubbles in it. So I'm gonna go somewhere in between. I'm gonna do a dough with 320, 325 milliliters, which is our basic recipe, our recipe for basic bread rolls. So I just need to add that. Now we're going to mix our dough. Now you can use a wooden spoon for this or a spatula, but I like to get my hands in. So it's just a matter of mixing the dough together. We're not worried about kneading it at this stage, we're just trying to get all the ingredients mixed together. Then we're going to leave it for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to get my hands straight in there and just mix. Now we've just got ourselves a rough dough. Now this bit isn't essential, but I do like to leave the dough for like 10 to 15 minutes. It kind of activates the yeast kind of hydrates the flour, lets the ingredients kind of get to know each other. So I tend to just leave that in the bowl and then cover it with an empty towel. It's a case of walking away and leaving it for 10 to 15 minutes. So our dough's had 10 minutes and you can start to see it's already starting to soften just by leaving it for 10 minutes. And now we are going to knead it. Now it's impossible to, unless you're the Incredible Hulk, it's impossible to over knead by hand. But where most people go wrong is they add loads of flour to the surface and, um, and they change the recipe. So we're not even gonna flour the surface. You can put a little bit of flour if you're nervous. I'm just gonna add a drizzle of oil and then it's a matter of good old elbow grease for the next 10 minutes or so. So to knead, the classic way of kneading is just to stretch and bring the dough back round on itself. You can kind of slap the dough around a bit and then bring it back round on itself like so. It's another way of doing it, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to stretch the gluten in the dough. So I tend to set my timer and then give it a good 10 minutes. So our dough has been kneaded for 10 minutes and we know it's ready because when we get it into a ball and we press it, it springs back. So look, stretchy means it's elastic and means it's good to go. So we're gonna pop that in a bowl. So about a teaspoon of oil into our bowl and then our dough goes into the bowl and then we leave that for an hour or so or until doubled in size. We'll cover that with a tea towel and then we're gonna leave that for about an hour. So that's what it looks like in our bowl. That's the one we're gonna cover. That's the one we're gonna see later. And then this is the one we're gonna be working with. So the first thing we're gonna make is a basic white loaf. So our dough just goes onto our surface. It's absolutely fine to add a little bit of flour now. And then we're gonna knock it back a bit, knock the air out of it a bit. Uh, you could put this in a loaf tin, but if you don't have a loaf tin, I'm just going to show you how to make a nice rounded loaf. 
So you just want to bring that background onto itself, just on a floured baking tray. And we're going to pop that somewhere to double in size. That's going to take about 40 minutes. It makes about eight small rolls, six larger rolls. You can turn them into burger buns or hot dog rolls. But the easiest way to divide it, if you don't want to measure each one, is to do it into a sausage like this. Let's do this one into six, shall we? And then that's about even. Now I've got a bench knife, but you can use any knife. We're gonna go about halfway and then each one you just need to cut into about three. If you want, you can weigh them out and then uh, make sure each one is the same weight. For simple bread rolls, we just roll them into balls like this. So that's a simple bread roll. Then for a hot dog bun, you want to do that a bit longer. So you just roll it onto itself. And it's a matter of just rolling it like this. For burger buns, you probably want them a bit bigger than that one. We'll take one and a half. And then you just want them a bit flatter. Like this. And then that's going to make a nice burger bun. We can try doing a mini baguette. Really kind of roll that out into a sausage shape. So that, again, we're just gonna have a damp towel over that. And then we're gonna leave those for about 40 minutes. For the pizza, very similar to our rolls, we're just gonna knock our dough back a little bit. So we're just gonna knock the air out of it ever so slightly and we're gonna cut it into four. So, and then, just as if we were making big rolls, we're just gonna roll each one into a nice round, and each one of these is gonna be a decent sized pizza. So that's four pizzas out of the mix. So just like we were doing with the rolls before, we're just gonna roll them into tight balls. That's our flavored flour, and these are gonna be our four pizzas, which we're gonna leave until doubled in size. So there we have basic bread, bread rolls, pizza dough. So first up, our bread rolls. They've had about 40 minutes, they've all doubled in size. This is our burger bun, so because it's a burger bun, we're gonna glaze it with a bit of egg, and then dust it with a few sesame seeds. So then we're going to leave this one and this one as is. Let's split this one down the middle. Just going to dust them with a bit of flour, not essential, just nice as they cook. Let's split this one down the middle. So just use a sharp knife to split that down the middle, and that will split open as it cooks. And we're going to pop those in our oven. So our oven temperature is on 210 fan, just about 230. For this one, nothing more than a dusting of flour, and we'll just do a couple of slices along there, like that, and they're just gonna open up as that cooks. There, so. And again, that goes in our oven. That's gonna take a bit longer, that may be 35 to 40 minutes. So now onto our pizza dough. You can roll it with a rolling pin, but you get a much nicer pizza if you use your fingers to stretch the dough out. And that's how you get the nice crust to it. Stretching the dough, trying not to tear it. I've just got some tomato passata, which I've seasoned with a bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. We're just gonna do a classic margarita cubes of mozzarella, but you can use any cheese you want. Cheddar works well, but mozzarella is authentic. And a small drizzle of olive oil, and that's gonna go in a really hot oven 
for about 12 minutes and then we're gonna have a very basic pizza. Like all pizza, you can top that however you like. So we have our blue loaf, our bread rolls. Now you know bread is cooked when you tap it on the base and it sounds hollow and we have our pizza, all cooked from the same basic bread dough. This has been Foster Basics, I'm Barney, thank you ever so much for watching.